One question that often comes up is what's the difference between AngularJS, Angular 2, and Angular 4? And how did we jump from Angular 2 to Angular 4? Well, AngularJS was introduced in 2010 as a JavaScript framework for building client applications. Soon it gained popularity, and the Angular team started adding new features to the core. But the framework was not designed with the needs of today's applications in mind. Plus, it was overly complex. So Angular team decided to rewrite the original framework using TypeScript, and as a result, Angular 2 came out in mid-2016. This new version is entirely different from Angular 1 to the extent that you can think of it as a completely different framework. Now, this made a lot of developers unhappy because they had a lot of applications built with Angular 1 with each application over a few thousand lines of code that had to be rewritten. But overall, I personally like the direction that the Angular team took and how they rebuilt Angular with TypeScript. This is a much better framework, it's a lot cleaner, and it's a lot easier to understand and to work with. Now, after a few minor upgrades to Angular 2, something strange happened. We were up to Angular 2.3, and then all of a sudden, Angular 4 came out. So a lot of developers, including myself, wondered what happened to Angular 3. We thought we missed something really big here. But unlike Angular 2, Angular 4 was not a new framework with a lot of breaking changes. In fact, it wasn't even a major upgrade. So let me explain what happened. Angular consists of a few different libraries that are distributed as separate node packages via NPM. For example, we have the core library that we use in every application. We have Angular compiler. We have Angular HTTP for calling HTTP services. We have Angular router for adding navigation to applications and a few other libraries. Now, all these libraries were versioned the same except the router library. So in order to align these versions and avoid confusion in the future, the Angular team decided to go straight to Angular version 4. So in a sense, Angular 4 is not a major upgrade to Angular 2, and you can think of it as Angular 2.4, as simple as that. Now, after all this confusion in the community about Angular versions, the team decided to drop the version suffix and simply call the framework Angular. So now we have two kinds of Angular. We have AngularJS, which is the first generation of Angular written in JavaScript, and it's going to die sooner or later. And we also have Angular, which refers to Angular 2 or later. In our discussions, in our articles, and whenever we want to talk about Angular 2 or later, we should really use the word Angular. Like, I'm an Angular developer, instead of I'm an Angular 2 developer, or I'm an Angular 4 developer. See, it's really weird. We should use versions only when we need to talk about a specific release. For example, when we want to upgrade Angular 4 to Angular 5, then everybody knows what is the scope of this upgrade and what are the potential breaking changes that can impact an application. So this is all about Angular version history. Hi, thank you for watching my Angular tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with others. Also, you can subscribe to my channel for free new videos every week. This video is part of my complete Angular course with almost 30 hours of high quality content where you will learn everything about Angular from the basic to the advanced topics all in one course. So you don't have to jump from one tutorial to another. In case you're interested, you can get this course with a big discount using the link in the video description. And if not, that's perfectly fine. Continue watching as the next section is coming up.